Welcome to Program Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about how to build a simple circuit and how to control it with Arduino. It's important for you to learn the basics before moving on. And one of the most important basics is how to use a breadboard. Okay, let's go. This is a breadboard which helps you practice and test a circuit. Okay, look at the yellow box. Uh, this is the number of columns are marked from 1 to 30 and this is the column above and this is the column below they are different from each other and the pink box this is the letter from A to G, J and each row each row, row 1, row, row A, row B, row C, row D, row E row F, row G, row H, row I, row G are different from the other and I forgot the column 1 are different from 2, from 3, from 4 they are different. I separate the board into two parts, part X and part Y. Part X include row F to J and part Y include A to E. Two parts are independent together so there are not any holes are connected between two parts. Okay, the holes, the holes in part X are not connected with the holes in part Y but both X and Y are pretty similar. I will explain part X. In part X, just how in a column, do you see? How 1, how 2, how 3, how 4, how 5, just 5 holes are connected together in a column, but they not connected with the column 2. The two columns are independent, and the other also like that. Okay, just in a column, they are connected together. The part Y is also same the X. Okay, that's it about the column, but the rows, uh, the row as independent together, they are not connected together. Okay, they they is independent with each other. Okay. Uh, about the green box, they usually call those holes are rails. Rails. All holes in a rows are connected together. You see, the blue holes are connected together, and the red holes are connected together. But in a column, they are not connected together. Okay, uh, they usually use red, red, red holes for VCC power, and the blue for GND ground. Okay, the rail on top right here is SMS with the rails in the green box. Okay, that's the only thing about breadboard. Now we will make a simple circuit and connect with Arduino. Okay, this is our first circuit. We have a LED and a power supply voltage right here. Um, all of them are connected together. In real life, if you want to operate a DC device, DC means direct current. We need to supply voltage like this. The positive uh, power will be connected to the anode of device, and the negative uh, power will be connected to the cathode of device. Then connected all of them to the ground. G and D connect like this circuit. Your LED can be light, but please pay attention. Don't connect in contact like this. Don't rotate the LED because your circuit may be burned or explosive. It's very dangerous when using a high voltage supply. So remember that don't rotate the LED like this. Some power supply has a high current, high amber. So that can be burn your LED if you don't reduce current flow. I'll use a resistor right here to do that. The resistor will protect your device from burn where the current is higher than the current of LED. So we need to select our appropriate resistor value by this formula right here. This is ohm law. I is U divide R. Okay, and uh, how can we know which variable are appropriate with the resistor? So I assume like this. Um, the current mean is 10, the current max is 25, and let only light if the current mean is lower than the current of the circuit, and lower than the current mass. Okay, but pay attention, if 
the current applies is greater than the current applies mass, the your circuit will be burned or explosive. Okay, we will try to calculate the variable of resistor. Okay, uh, we have we have mean is ten milliampere. It also is zero dot zero one ampere, and max is twenty five milliampere. Also is zero dot zero twenty five ampere okay at the formula right like this we have mean lower than uh, inlet lower than max and inlet right here inlet right here is the formula okay mean we will reply the variable to the mean is u divide resistor and max is zero dot zero twenty five. Okay, next we will uh, find the resistor. We will find the resistor, but the O U is five volt. Okay, just one variable we can find out the resistor uh, like this. One zero zero one. When we change the position of abrasion to each other, we have to change the side. Okay. Now we can find out the R by U zero dot zero one low greater than R U come zero dot zero twenty five. Okay. Now we can find out u is 5 volt and divide 0 0.01 is 500 u is 5 divide 0 0.025 is 200 okay this is a variable of resistor okay and the variable of resistor can be greater than 200, but it should be lower than 500. Okay. The resistor can be from 200 to 500 ohm, but in this video, I use the 330 ohm for easy buy in the electric store. Okay, now we'll use the Arduino as a voltage supply and connect like this diagram. I will connect the 5 volt pin of Arduino to the resistor and then connect to the anode pin of the LED. The Gini pin of Arduino is connected to the cathode pin of the LED. But uh, how can we know which pin is cathode and which pin is anode of the LED? So, look at the picture. Uh, it's normally the longer LED is anode and the shorter led is cathode okay remember that and then we will supply the voltage for arduino and see what happened watch the video i will use the red wire for five voltage connect to the resistor i will use the black wire for g and d okay connect to the led so now I will connect my Arduino to the laptop. So see what happened. Okay, the LED is turned on. Okay, now we will write a program to control it. So now we will program for Arduino to control it. So I will change some pin right here. I will change the 5 ohm pin to the pin 8 of Arduino. Okay. I will change the pin 5 ohm to pin 8. Okay. And now we have a short card like this. The first line is I define my LED is pin 8. I define on 
is 100 I command right here let will on in 100 millisecond and I define up is 20 200 the let will be up in uh, 200 millisecond okay in the set of function I will put the a line like this pin mod my let output this will set my let as output pin it means set the pin A as output okay in the function loop uh, I will I have some line right here the first is uh, mean uh, I will output the pin A with 5 voltage and I will with this line I will uh, output the my let with 0 voltage okay and between them I will turn on LED keep turn on turn off and keep turn off then loop again okay I will uh, upload the code to the Arduino and see what happened this is my code first check the bar check the com okay verified okay now we upload the code Okay, as you see, the LED is blinked. Yeah, the LED is blinked uh, like what you want. You can change some variable here to the blink LED uh, faster or slower. Okay, now I will change to 1000 and then I upload to the Arduino. As you see, it's playing slower okay that's the only thing and okay you can uh, try some practice right here for example you change GND pin to one of digital pin it means you should uh, connect the GND pin to one of digital pin I explain which pin is digital in the second video uh, and or you can change both GND and VCC to digital pin. Digital pin is pin from 0 to 13 or pin A0 to A6. Okay, try it. Or you can connect more or less and make it blink from left to right, right to left. Okay, I make uh, wrong like right here. From center to left or right and on blink in at the same time. Okay, you can connect more or less to do what you want. Thank you.